Dave Riffs and Jerry DiNardo with you in our BTN studios. Breaking news tonight as the University of Maryland has announced that it has fired head football coach DJ Durkin. This just one day after Durkin had been reinstated to his job. Remember, he had been on paid leave for more than two months. Jerry, your reaction to what has been a crazy 30 hours or so in College Park? Well, it's been two surprises back to back. I, I don't know that any of us thought that they were going to bring DJ back. I, I, I know I, I didn't. I was surprised. And now, obviously, I'm surprised again that they would, they would change direction. I, I think it has a lot to do with communication, uh, what's going on on campus. I'm not sure that uh, you can have a strength coach, because I think a lot of this is about Jordan McNair's death, obviously, as it should be, to have a strength coach on campus when, when someone's saying we don't know exactly what he was doing, or someone else wasn't aware of what he was doing. Right, and of course, this all in the aftermath of the passing of Jordan McNair, as you said, again, Durkin had been put on paid administrative leave, and there was a lot of question and, and a lot of discussion yesterday about this disconnect between the Board of Regents and President Wallace Lowe, I think it was pretty clear from the news conference and from all the reporting that was out there that Wallace Lowe wanted to fire DJ Durkin and essentially the Regents said, you can't do that, and hence Lowe decided he was going to retire. It just didn't never seem like everyone was on the same page here, Coach. You know, most people spend four or five years in college. I spent most of my life in college because of what I did. Right. And, and the people that know what's going on are the people on campus, the president, the athletic director, the head coach, and so on. I'm not saying they're always right, but my experience with boards is that's the biggest disconnect. There may have been a disconnect between the athletic department and the strength coach or DJ and the players or whatever you want, but the biggest, most critical disconnect is the board to the campus. And if the board's going to make decisions, they, they really don't have enough. They don't have enough information to make those decisions. It's just mind-boggling, though, that they did not have enough self-awareness and did not understand the temperature of the situation enough to understand that if they were to reinstate DJ Durkin, that it would head down this path. I think it seems like everyone on the outside got it that this was a decision that didn't make a lot of sense, and yet that's the road they went down. It proves the disconnect. Yeah. It helps, yeah. helps prove the disconnect. Yeah, no doubt.